The South African President Cyril Ramaphosa is cutting short his visit to the Commonwealth Summit in Britain to deal with violent protests back home. Mr Ramaphosa has used the visit, his first such summit since taking over from Jacob Zuma in February, to try to encourage more investment in South Africa. But the clashes have worsened over two days in northwest province. Protesters are demanding jobs and housing, as well as an end to corruption. Mr Ramaphosa has called for calm and ordered police to exercise restraint. Let's take a look at some of the other stories making the news. The disgraced cyclist Lance Armstrong is reported to have settled a federal fraud case over his use of performance-enhancing drugs at the Tour de France. He was due to face a trial next month over claims that he defrauded the US government when he doped while racing for his United States Postal Service-sponsored team. There'll be no criminal charges against anyone over the death of the musician Prince. The singer died two years ago from an opioid overdose at his Paisley Park complex near Minneapolis. The official cause of death was a self-administered overdose of the painkiller fentanyl, but no prescriptions were found. Now, the ousted FBI director, James Comey, is continuing to speak out against his former boss. He said he'd think twice about sharing sensitive information with President Trump if he still had his job. He's chronicled his service in the Trump administration in a new memoir and escalated a feud with the president, who has labelled him as a liar and a slimeball. Mr Comey was speaking to my colleague Emily Maitlis for the BBC's Newsnight programme. If I were to describe your role in the 2016 US election... Yes, and I expect the, the special prosecutor is investigating it. That was the former FBI director James Comey speaking on the BBC's Newsnight programme. Now, Miguel Diaz-Canel has been sworn in as Cuba's president. It is the first time since 1959 that a Castro is not at the helm of the government. Today, the new leader vowed to defend the legacy of his predecessors and said that Raul Castro would be involved in major decisions. From Havana, Will Grant reports. Will Grant, BBC News, Havana. Now, moving on to Syria, and the American government says it has information that Syrian and Russian forces are trying to sanitise the site of the suspected chemical weapons attack near Damascus. It is now almost two weeks since the reports of chlorine gas first emerged, but international inspectors have still not been able to visit the area. And as Bill Hayton reports, the regime appears increasingly confident of victory against the rebels on the ground. Bill Hayton, BBC News. Stay with us on BBC News still to come. The British designer Stella McCartney tells the fashion industry it needs to clean up its act.